Welcome to Palermo, capital of Sicily, island on the south of Italy. It is town with uh, more than uh, 650,000 citizens and we are going to spend two months in uh, Palermo in summertime from July till September. In that way it was uh, natural from our side to make a visit to the something that is uh, very important in summertime and it is a uh, beach. The only available beach in Palermo is uh, Mondello. Mondello is a really famous beach and uh, considering the many reviews it is considered to be second or third beach in Sicily by its uh, beauty and uh, quality of uh, water. And so on the first day of our visit to Palermo we decided to spend our afternoon in uh, Mondello Beach. The best way to reach the Mondello Beach is uh, by public bus and that is uh, bus number 806. It uh, goes from uh, Piazza Caporita and uh, from this piazza it's about uh, 9 kilometers to reach uh, Mandelo Beach and from the historic center it's about 12 kilometers. If your apartment is not like ours uh, nearby terminal of bus 806 and uh, probably you'll be in the historical center of Palermo then you should take uh, buses uh, 101 and uh, 102 one of them to reach uh, terminal of bus 806 and then you can come to the Mondello beach the bus ride will uh, take you about uh, 30 minutes first 10 minutes will be uh, through the city of Palermo and then drive will take you along a very very long park but this park uh, sadly is not uh, so organized and maintained as it looks when you look it on the Google Maps. It is some kind of uh, green area, a little bit forest. Some of this uh, uh, park are organized, some are not. But if you decide in some way to come to Mandela Beach by foot, it is possible. Uh, also, it is possible to come there by a bike, but I think you'll need uh, mountain biking to ride through this uh, park. And I think it's not uh, recommended to use this park in the night. Uh, as you already see, we came to the Mandela Beach and uh, preparing for this trip, I watched many videos about Palermo, including Mandela Beach and uh, this area on many of these videos look uh, looks very uh, elegant and uh, organized and uh, full of uh, pure natural beauty and it was the reason that we decided we must definitely go there and we planned our uh, uh, days in Palermo uh, spending on the beach Mondello uh, at the moment when we arrived at uh, Mondello, we realized that uh, many things that we could see on those videos are not exactly like uh, they look like, but it's something that is maybe normal because uh, even when I am watching this video that I made personally, it's in some way different than it was in reality. So whatever preparation you take, uh, it is finally that you have personally come to some place and, so, and see how it is uh, really in reality. Mandelo Beach is uh, quite a long beach, it's about between one kilometer and a half, maybe even two kilometers long. It is a sandy beach, about uh, 80 meters wide and uh, it would be enough, but uh, it is the only one beach in uh, Palermo and uh, such a big city 
uh, is too much for this uh, for this beach. There are other beaches in the uh, city of Palermo, but they are not in uh, in use. They are prohibited by the authorities because of the pollution. And uh, although you can see sometimes local people uh, enjoying on these beaches, keep in mind that uh, it is not uh, safe area for the tourists, not because of the crime, but because of the pollution. Uh, Mondello Beach is uh, sadly organized in a way that uh, almost 85% uh, of the beach is covered by sand beds and it is the property of uh, some private companies that legally uh, hire this uh, part of the beach and uh, this area is uh, usually more than half percent, 50% empty because the price of this uh, sunbeds is uh, sunbeds is quite big it's uh, i think 20 euros uh, per person or uh, 30 euros if there are two of you for the package of uh, uh, sunbeds and uh, umbrella and so majority of uh, citizens of palermo and uh, majority of all people that come to this beach as citizens of uh, Palermo use only those uh, 15 percent of the beach which is uh, about uh, 10 meters uh, <coughs> away from the from the sea and uh, as a result of this as you can see we came there at uh, 6 30 pm there was such a big rush there were so many people that uh, I have to say honestly, it didn't feel good, and the water wasn't uh, uh, clear as it uh, should be. There were also many water sports uh, along the beach, and it makes uh, quite a big confusion, especially for the people like we are, because we like, uh, we really like to swim. So I think that between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. This beach is best for the teenagers, for the young people between 13 and uh, 20 years and uh, they have company there, they play with the balls in the water and uh, they really feel good. But for the little bit older that like uh, pure nature and uh, quality of water, that like uh, to swim, I think uh, not only I think definitely the best way is to come early in the morning between 8 a.m. and to leave the beach at uh, 9 a.m. At that time the beach looks really good, the quality of water is good, it is uh, clear and uh, it's approximately like you could see on videos about uh, Mondello Beach. But at that time water can be quite cold, so you need some time to accommodate and enter into the water. In the afternoon, after 6 p.m., it is also a good time, the water is uh, warm, but not so clear like in the morning. As I said, this area should be quite elegant, but... Uh, we could see that there are some uh, old villas, some of them are maintained well, some are not. And uh, it seems that in some old times this area was really, really something special. Now I think uh, it is not... It looks good, but not too good. And there are some buildings that are maintained well, some not. There are some restaurants. Some of them modern, some of them uh, traditional. We saw them one, uh, I think, nightclub. But generally, this is not place uh, for the nightlife. If you want to uh, enjoy nightlife in Palermo, go to the historical center of Palermo. At Mondello, people usually spend their their day during the summer, and then after the they spend time at their beach they some of them go home and some of them stay in the restaurants and uh, maybe playing uh, beach volley 
on the beach and something like that. So from my opinion uh, it is not the best option to have apartment on Mondello beach. It is much better to be somewhere not in a real historic center but something on the outskirts of the center so you can easily from that place uh, go to the historical center and uh, by bus 806 to the Mondello beach. There are only a few hotels as we could see at uh, Mondello and uh, one of them is not on the, not exactly on the on the beach it's a little uh, bit uh, away in some kind of forest this uh, is good but it's not good because it's not on the beach and there are two other hotels but they are some kind of uh, private properties you can't go inside yeah i think they belong to some clubs and there is one uh, old uh, villa which is uh, really beautiful it's uh, somewhere in the center of the beach it is built just on the sea it looks very good but uh, not maintained so good and at this moment uh, i think there are some celebrations in recent times it was i think a hotel called uh, mondello mondello beach is a part of the suburb of uh, palermo which is called mondello but this area didn't look to me nothing uh, special, not, nothing wrong with it, but uh, I didn't have uh, some special wish to go and to explore it. There are not some special historical buildings on the, or uh, some special events. And uh, relatively close is uh, the part of uh, Palermo called Zen and uh, we heard that we should avoid this uh, part of the city because of a uh, huh? little bigger level of crime and uh, so it's not so secure but being at Mondello beach is definitely safe the water in uh, Mondello is uh, not deep you can really walk about uh, 80 meters in direction of the sea there is a sand in the water and just after that uh, the water will go over your head. I think that's uh, almost everything I wanted to say about my impression about this Modelo beach. It is uh, in very nice, beautiful, not very nice, really beautiful natural area between two national parks and uh, natural parks. One is uh, uh, Capobello on the left side, if you look in the direction of the sea, and uh, <coughs> on the right side is, uh, right side is uh, Monte Pellegrino mountain. So these, those two mountains uh, are covering this uh, bay and uh, it uh, really, really looks uh, magnificently especially if you go and uh, hike up to the mountains and uh, watch from the top of them to the this beautiful Modelo beach. I don't expect from you to watch everything in this video, but uh, I think it can be useful if somebody is, somebody is coming to Palermo for the little longer time as we do. And so... I think it's useful to see what uh, uh, he can expect and in that way to organize his uh, staying in Palermo in the uh, best way. It is our first video about Palermo, we'll prepare some, some more as uh, our stay here continues. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do it, it is free for you and it helps us to maintain this channel and it helps in the uh, visibility of this channel.